Hi everyone and how are you all doing? So in this video I'm going to be talking about installing Linux Mint 19.1 codename Tessa within VirtualBox uh, 6.0 environment that I have running on my Ubuntu 18.04 desktop. So let's get started. So first thing that I'm going to do is download the ISO installation image and you can see that there are three different interface editions for Mint and uh, my recommended one is Cinnamon so I'm going to download that. So let's download that first. You can choose the download mirror that's closest to you. So let's begin the download. Okay so now that we have the ISO downloaded I'm going to try and start uh, creating a virtual machine in VirtualBox and then we'll load this ISO to install the operating system. And if you are running uh, the installation directly on as a host operating system, then you may need to um, load the ISO on a USB stick to be able to actually install the operating system. But um, in for this video, I'm going to proceed with VirtualBox. So what I'm going to do is just um, create a new virtual machine. And let's name this virtual machine as Mint go next and let's uh, choose 2 gigs of RAM go next create a new virtual hard drive create and I normally prefer choosing dynamically allocated because that save me space but you can choose fixed size if you want to I think there may be some performance advantages by choosing fixed size so I'm gonna go next here and I'm gonna select maybe 30 gigs of hard disk space and go create so now that we have our virtual machine created I can just straight away go and click the start button and then once I click the start button I can actually see the virtual machine uh, trying to start up but I can actually choose the ISO that I downloaded so that will basically act as a startup disk for my operating for my new virtual machine and there we have the OS is loaded using the ISO and you don't have to actually install it straight away you can try out the ISO uh, try out Linux Mint by actually looking at it because it's actually already loaded and you can play around with it and if you actually like it you can go and install it and so I'm gonna proceed with the installation so we're gonna select English continue English US for the keyboard layout and select continue and I'm gonna select install third-party software so that it can actually on the background start downloading the stuff that it needs to install and I just usually choose erase disk and install Linux Mint because we are running as a VM it will just basically use the entire disk for Linux Mint and just say continue and I'll just choose my time zone say continue you can pick an username and you can choose a password and I normally prefer putting in the password to log in and this is gonna start the installation it's just gonna start copying the files across So there we have and the installation is now completed. So the next thing I'm going to do is just restart the thing. So it asks you to remove the installation medium and just press enter. 
so you can just press enter there and it's going to boot up with the installed OS now so there we have Linux Mint, Mint installed now it's telling me that I'm running in software rendering mode so in order to fix that what I need to do is I need to install the guest additions so I go into device and then I say ins insert guest addition CD image and then once I do that I can go into my uh, Linux Mint desktop and then let me close that for you and then it's going to say that um, because it has inserted the guest editions uh, image it's going to ask me to run it so I'm just going to run it and once that is finished you can see that it has uh, gone into full screen automatically so I'm just going to do a restart of the uh, Linux Mint and then we're going to see if that thing goes away and you before you go in and proceed with the restart you would want to make sure one another setting is turned on uh, so you go into the settings and go into the display properties and you would want to make sure that the enable 3D acceleration is turned on this will allow it to run in 3D accelerated mode and uh, take the warning away for software rendering so now we have mint running within virtual box in full screen mode and uh, there we have everything installed so thank you all for watching